Alright, all these little rocks are going to fall. Okay, I'm trying to come down from right here. Make sure this big one don't fall on me. Careful. He is Chuck a wall. It's he is ginormous. He's so cute. Four months of searching. I live up in St. George and we've been looking around for four months for these guys up there. Haven't found one in the southwest oh, part of so Utah. big I can barely even hold him in the... Oh shoot, come on. Stop trying to get away. Stay here buddy, stay. You only got to hang out with me for a few more minutes and you were a free lizard. Yeah, he's fifth one I found today, but the other ones were hiding in much better spots. Way, way, way better spots. He's a feisty one. Come on, quit trying to whip me. All right, taking measurement. Tail, about right there is where his tail is, flattened out. Oh, hey, you destroyed my measuring. Come on, you. All you gotta do is say everyone be patient. I would think a lizard that sits on the rocks for like, you know, four hours a day would be more patient. Okay, I'm gonna put you right here. Okay. He's 15 and a half. You getting that, buddy, seeing his length? I, I couldn't run by me. So, he's 15 and a half inches. As you can see, I'm sweating like crazy, but up here climbing around on these walks, I'm probably getting rid of easily a liter of a, an hour just to get this guy. So, <laughs> this is great. <sighs> Fairly worn out and warm. I think it's like 105, 106 today, 107. It's supposed to hit 114. Um, so when you go out to get the Chuck of Wallace, try and get him in the morning because normally once it gets to the low hundreds, uh, they're going to hide. Um, and as you can see, my shirt, it is soaking wet and this is not water. I haven't been in the lake. It's just sweat. My arms are pouring in sweat. My eyes are burning. They're like on fire. I feel like I've been swimming in salt water just from the sweat pouring into my eyes and burning me just to get this guy. Um, <sighs> worn out. I'm sure he is. I've held him long enough. Um, give my son the privilege of letting him go and so he can be free and not have us bothering him anymore so and he's right here next to the lake so in the event that he needs water I've heard they don't drink water but I've seen people giving them water I don't know if they do or they don't because kind of mixed reports but either way he's right here next to the lake there's lots of plants to eat creosote water so uh, shelter shade put him back in his little shady rocks so he'll be completely safe uh, back over there we found him all right okay buddy put him over here in the shade Right over here. Well, uh, keep going. Don't let him get you. Don't let him get you, buddy. He's going crazy. Okay. All right, sit him right there. Hey, Mr. Chuck. All right, let's follow him up. Is he going up? Up he goes. Wow, he just, wow, he looks so awesome. I mean, he's like a little dinosaur. I mean, that that is just a dinosaur right there. Oh, sorry, dinosaur. That's your spot. <laughs> okay, and into his uh, safety rock and inflated he goes so nobody can pull him out again like I did a little bit ago. <sighs> Thanks for watching, me and the crazy kids. Technically crazy kids is all of us because I feel nobody ever really grows up. That's why we're out here doing our fun childish stuff.